And like, maybe it was me, like, you know, like, like, but like when you're a blackout drunk, you don't fucking know. Like literally you could be watching a film on, 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 with like you in it on what you did the whole previous night. And you'd be looking at it like it's a foreign video. Like what the fuck? Like, I don't remember that at all. Like, like I just remember fucking dropping a deuce and going to bed. Like, that's it. Brushing my teeth. That's it. Like, um, but no, that wasn't the case, dude. I'd, 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 I'd show up everywhere, dude. I'd show up fucking everywhere. And then I'd have some, like, incidents when I'd be taking Ambien and drinking where it'd be a similar type thing, but that was called sleep driving. I actually looked it up, and it's exactly what I was doing. Two nights in a row. Dude, this makes no sense, you guys. I drive to my mom's house. I'm living in Irvine. My mom's living in Newport Beach. I drive to my mom's house two nights in a row. This makes no fucking sense. I, I go in into her house, I take one of her credit cards, I go to the grocery store, and spend like four to five hundred dollars on groceries, and then I park the car in my mom's garage, and then I go to sleep there. So two mornings in a row, she goes to, to one of her guest bedrooms, knocks on the door, Nicholas, what the hell is going on? Um, and then I wake up like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> you know, like what the fuck's going on? And uh, she was like, do you, you know, you, you, you went grocery shopping last night? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, ha you're, you're funny. I, 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 I go down to the car, which is in her garage. Like, really? Like, I never park the car in her garage. And I don't even live fucking there. But I fucking go down to the car and my, my Mercedes ML 500 from the front to the back is stacked with fucking groceries. All perishable shit too. And just the most yummy stuff ever, too. And I did that two nights in a row, you guys. <coughs> I put $1,100 <coughs> on my mom's credit card in two nights. And I don't even like like borrowing money from, from, from my folks because they don't have much these days. They used to have an awful lot, but as it, it's my job as their child to send them money, I think, even if they need it or not. So like that shit hurt me big time. The fact that like I was doing shit like that. I, I couldn't fucking believe it. I was stealing I was stealing my mom's fucking my own mom's fucking credit card and going and sp spending five hundred dollars each time grocery shopping. Two nights in a row. And the exact same thing happened. Parked the car in her garage two nights in a row. Dude, it's just pretty amazing how 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 that whole thing worked out. Um, those nights also I ended up driving through because uh, she lived in Newport Coast actually and she was the president of the homeowners association there and so there there were two guard gates the north gate and the south gate all have 24 hour security um so i ended up driving like through both the gates going like 50 miles an hour the security guard said blaring my horn like screaming out the fucking window like woohoo at like two in the morning dude in a fucking neighborhood like, dude, and I drove through the fucking gates. I didn't wait for the gates to open. These are like these really expensive, rich neighborhood gates and shit, right? Like fucking wealthy ass fucking neighborhood. Um, and I drove right through the gates where they like push the button to let you in if you've been authorized to come into the neighborhood type thing. Um, yeah, dude, just insane. Just absolutely insane. Yeah, so the only reason why I didn't get any hit and run charges on that is because my mother was the president of the homeowners association and uh, she kind of kept it on the hush hush. She actually paid for it for me. I and shit, man. Like, dude, I've, I've put my family through a lot, you guys. Like, uh, I put them through in, in, in an awful lot. I, I, I think that that ended up costing my mom close to 10,000 bucks. Um, but it kept me out of jail, kept me from. A, a hit and run because I hit both like I drove through the bottom gate like through the gate broke the fucking steel gate and then I backed up through it again and then hauled ass apparently through the fucking neighborhood to the gate on the north part which is on the top of the hill and fucking blew right through that fucking gate like there was not a, a steel gate in front of me um, so yeah man that's when I really realized I, I, I had some serious problems um, 
and nine treatment centers and two sober living houses later, you guys, I'm a fucking, you know, I've, I've been able to conquer this thing one day at a time. No, I'm not completely abstinent from, from everything. I smoke plenty of herb. I smoke lots of ganja. Um, and, but I gave up smoking cigarettes. I gave up alcohol June 23rd, 2013 was my last sip. I checked into a treatment center that cost a hundred and something thousand dollars per month. I was there for 90 days. That's back when I had some really good um, non-subsidized health insurance. I was paying like 500 bucks a month for it because I had had the money. Money does buy you happiness. <laughs> the only people who say it doesn't are the people who've never had the money to buy you happiness, so shut the fuck up. Um, and then, oh, but it, it can bring you sadness and hurt too. Yeah, you dumb motherfucker. So can being poor. You don't see most poor... Don't you see most poor fucking families fighting over bills, fighting over this? Like, no, honey, we can't buy that because we have to pay this fucking bill. Like, dude, dude, like, uh, happiness is how you, like, how you make your situation is where you're, where you're going to be at emotionally. Like, like, I fucking hate these fucking people. Oh, fucking, yeah, yeah, money doesn't buy happiness. Well, the fuck it doesn't. You fucking morons, it sure as fuck does you know how to manage it properly, then you can continue doing that, you know? Um, but with more money comes more responsibilities and stuff. But don't ever say money can't buy you happiness because that's the most full of shit fucking answer ever, dude. Full of shit answer. I can't tell you how many of you fucking contact me. Yeah, bro, I'd love to fucking go up there, but I can't afford it. It's too expensive. I'd love to. It'd make me so happy. Clearly money can buy you happiness. Um, when I would travel all over the place, money bought me happiness um, getting a five-day park hopper at Walt Disney World money buys you happiness um, but just like anything just like the the people will say oh yeah but money can also also destroy you no shit dude not having money can also fucking destroy you but you can be happy without money you can be happy with money it's all your perspective and your attitude on the whole situation but don't, don't fucking talk shit like you fucking know what you're fucking talking about when you've never had the money to experience what money can fucking buy you. Money can buy you a lot of fucking happiness. It really can. And like, if I had a lot more fucking money and my parents, they're getting really old, I wouldn't want to put them in a fucking home. Happiness would be to have them with me in my fucking house supporting them. So obviously not this fucking little house, dude. This house is so small. small. You, you walk in the front, you fall right out the back. Seriously. But anyway, I love you guys, man. And for, forgive me for my rants I go on. But I just, you know, I'm being me. I'm being real. I love you guys. Peace.